Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Master Computer Science Subjects. I request uh, my viewers to subscribe to my channel and continue to watch. And also I am happy to say that this is my 50th video. Uh, today in this video we are going to discuss about how to recognize the tokens. Till now we have discussed about how to specify the pattern of the tokens. We have used regular expressions to specify the pattern of the token. Regular expression is equivalent to regular language and we know that the regular language can be recognized by finite automata. Okay, now I have taken an example, a context-free grammar here. In general, a grammar is defined by four tuples, V, Sigma, R and S. V is a set of uh, variables. Normally, variables are written in caps. Sigma is a set of terminals. R is a set of production rules and S is a start symbol and this S belongs to V. So from the given example, we are going to identify which are all the variables and which are all the terminals. Normally, every rule is defined like this. A variable on the left hand side of the arrow mark. On the right hand side of the arrow mark, we in general have the combination of one or more variables and the terminals as per the definition of context free grammar. Already I have made a video with respect to context-free grammar. Anyhow, I'll give the link in the description box. Please click on to the link and watch about what is context-free grammar. Okay, so let us see the grammar now. Statement. The statement is defined by three definitions. Statement can be replaced by if expression then statement or if expression then statement else statement or statement can be simply replaced by epsilon. Expression is defined as term relational operator term. Term can be defined as either ID. ID refers to identifier here number. So here I have written which are all the variables and which are all the terminals. The variables are nothing but the symbols that appears on the left hand side of the arrow mark. So statement, expression, term or the variable. Apart from variable, every other symbol is a terminal. So here if then else relational operator identifier and number all these are the terminal sets of the given grammar okay now from this grammar i'm going to derive this string if x is less than 10 then epsilon this is the string i'm going to derive from the grammar by the way i'm going to construct a parse tree so this is parse tree so how to construct the parse tree? The construction of the parse tree begins from the start symbol of the grammar. The start symbol of the given grammar is statement. So statement I have written at the root of the parse tree. Now this statement is replaced by the very first rule if expression then statement. So I have written four branches if expression then statement. Every time variable only can be further replaced. Once terminals appear in the tree, that's all. The growth of the tree from there won't be appearing. Right. Now, expression can be replaced by term, relational operator, term. Yes. So, in the parse tree, expression is replaced by term, relational operator, term. Now, here, this statement is replaced by epsilon. Then, this term is replaced by identifier. Now, this term is replaced by number, right? Now, this identifier, as per the string, I have replaced it by x. And this number, as per the string, I have replaced it by 10. So, we derived the string by constructing the parse tree. If x less than t, then epsilon. So, this is the string we obtained from the parse tree. If you observe the parse tree, the terminals are the leaf nodes of the parse tree are nothing but the tokens of the programming language. If is a leaf node, if is a keyword, we know keyword is a token. ID is a leaf node, ID is what? Identifier, identifier is a token. Relational operator is a token. Number is a leaf node, of course number is also a token then is a keyword keyword is also a token so what is the conclusion from the parse tree 
the leaf nodes of the parse tree leaf nodes of the parse tree are replaced with terminals and all these terminals are nothing but tokens of the programming language tokens of the programming language so what are the tokens we know keyword identifier operator string number all these are tokens of the programming language <coughs> okay just to remind uh, lexical analysis takes source program as the input and it produces a stream of tokens and it produces a stream of tokens stream of tokens is the input to the syntax analysis phase and it produces parse tree now we have constructed a parse tree for the given example from there this is the conclusion we got the leaf nodes or the terminals and the leaf nodes of the parse tree are the tokens of the programming language okay now let me consider only the leaf nodes if is a leaf node so what is a regular definition for if it contains the two characters one is i another one is f then id is a terminal that is a leaf node how do i define id identifier can begin with the letter followed by any length of letter or digit any length of letter or digit is marked by this clean star operator then relational operator is a token i can define the relational operator like this less than is a relational operator r greater than is a relational operator less than or equal to is a relational operator greater than or equal to equal to equal to all these are relational operators then number is a leaf node number is a token how do we define number already we have seen the regular definition for this number can be defined like this it may contain single digit or many digit followed by optional fraction part followed by optional exponent part so this definition already we have seen in the previous video itself then is a terminal or the leaf node then is defined in such a way it is a keyword which contains the four letters t h e n and further we can define what is letter letter is capital a b c d small a b c d and also it includes underscore we can further define digits digits is nothing but digit followed by the digit whole star further we can define what is a digit digit is nothing but a 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 up to 9 this is the regular definition for all the tokens how can i differentiate between the regular definition and the context free grammar because the regular definition also we define like this a symbol on the left hand side and on the right hand side we are writing the rule right but in the regular definition on the right hand side of the arrow mark regular expression appears you can easily identify the regular expression with the help of this operators like this star operator plus operator then this union operator with the help of this operators we can easily identify the regular expression so in the regular definition on the right hand side of the arrow mark regular expressions appears so to conclude this video i just want to say that lexical analysis is nothing but a collection of finite automata which recognizes the tokens syntax analyzer is nothing but a push down automata which will recognize the syntax of the program right and the tokens are defined by regular expression syntax of the program in general defined by context free grammar uh, so to express the tokens we use regular expressions and we use a form of rules known as regular definition we can easily identify the difference between the regular definition and the context free grammar by checking what is written on the right hand side of the rule if star 
plus if this question mark all this operator appears we can easily identify it as regular expression i hope you have understood you have got an idea about uh, uh, the lexical analysis and the syntax analysis thank you